Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode 26, I think, of Grim... It's probably episode 26, but <laughs> I'm now at least pretending no longer to know these numbers, though I secretly actually do at this point, <laughs> which is sad. Uh, I'm your host, Bill. This is Emma. <laughs> welcome to Grim's Finger Scenarios. guns. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> uh, how you doing, Emma? You good? Oh yeah, delightful. Always great. Fantastic. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, more tokens that you haven't seen before. We're going to talk about what to do when you get a different token, a new token, a token you've never pulled before. Uh, it's sort of part two of our sequence of doing these, and maybe there'll be a part three. Yeah, there'll probably be uh, part three and four and five and six and seven. This is our Hatter strategy episode for new to Hatter, and then we'll do our next strategy episode once we have the next new character, which is probably coming out not this Thursday like it was scheduled originally, but probably the Thursday after. Not to date this video to when it was re supposed to be being recorded, because... Bad, bad. We should do that. Alternately, who cares? All right, Emma. Well, uh, what do you think about the Hatter? Why don't we talk about the Hatter really quickly, because it, uh, it is on the script. We're not going to be... Uh, you're not going to be playing as the Hatter. I didn't think that was very interesting for you to be the Hatter. It's basically an effect on death outsider, and we've kind of already done some of those. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I, thought, uh... I thought you would be I thought you would be something else and have to deal with what happens when there might or might not be a Hatter in the game. Yeah, so when the good team um You just sort of have to track uh, Hatter's dying and figure out what has changed, if anything, from them. Uh, I guess we could read the token. If you died today or tonight, the minion and demon players may choose new minion and demon characters to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and... The Hatter is... So lots of custom scripts and T and also S and V and BMR for that matter deal are a lot of their balance is based around ambiguity about demon type in particular. So the demon type changing forces you. So uh, when as you're solving the game as a member of the good team, one of the things you're trying to do is well if if it's this type of demon, it's probably these people, if it's that type of demon, it's probably those people, blah, 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 blah. Uh, and the Hatter forces you to switch gears when you've realized it's died. And sometimes uh, you'll know it's died because you have a good reason to trust the player who's the Hatter. Maybe you were the empath with a zero on them, and then mm -hmm. they died at night. Mm -hmm. And that's probably a good sign that they're probably just good. Uh, I mean, maybe if you were poisoned or drunk and there was a Fangoran imp, but this script we're looking at doesn't have Fangoran imp, or really any reason that evil would want to die at night. So right. uh, in situations like that, you're probably, you have good reasons to trust the Hatter, which means you now need to start throwing out all the things you thought you knew about the game and once again resolve demon type. Uh, maybe the demon type hasn't changed, and you have to re just reapply all the things you already knew, thought you knew. Other times you won't have as good idea the Hatter died. Like, you're the chef. Uh, a player was executed. The next day, they claimed Hatter. They're sitting somewhere that's not obviously evil from your chef number, not obviously good either. Are they the Hatter? Are they an evil player bluffing Hatter? You don't know. Uh, sometimes, if the minions are loud enough, you'll get a good sense that the Hatter has changed. Maybe after... Uh, three days of no one seeming harpy mad and no one claimed to be harpy mad the next day. Suddenly you're harpy mad at night. Maybe you had or died. Uh, maybe someone survived execution and someone two people died from harpy madness and no one's claiming alchemist. And then suddenly the night you get a second death. Or had or probably died. That's probably an assassin switching off one of those minions. Uh, so you just have to sort of be thoughtful about how the game has changed and use that to sort of rebuild your solves from the ground up. Yeah, I think that seems I think that seems right. And I think, you know, that awareness of what effects are happening uh, can be very powerful 
for the good team, right, and allow them to make that solve. So especially uh, if you're on the evil team, you don't necessarily want to go from uh, a quiet minion to a loud minion necessarily, right, when you get a hatter change, because it might reveal something to the good team. On the other hand, maybe mm -hmm. it's just more advantageous for you to grab an assassin's blade and stab someone, or to become the Serenovus and hide some powerful information. It's up to the individual yeah. player, of course, but, you know, there's a lot that goes into thinking about what to do when your role changes mid-game. And we've talked about role changes mid-game before. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the community is still sort of figuring out what works best with Hatter. And I actually think on the best Hatter scripts I've seen and the best Hatter scripts I've played, there's often some sort of noisiness that's de facto present when Hatter changes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I I know that some people who I respect who very much disagree with me with this, but I think that Hatter works best with louder minions and not as well with the very quiet minions like i wouldn't want to see hatter on like a tv style script where all the minions are incredibly quiet because i think you're frequently getting straight to the point where it's not solvable for the good team so i think the evil team has to choose whether i think making the evil team choose between switching to maybe a more powerful setup for the situation at the cost of confirming the hatter or something i I, I think and hope this is the direction Hatter scripts end up going. I kind of agree with you. I mean, if you look at roles like Baron or Spy, especially, right, it's kind of a no-brainer to just change into something else if yeah, you've got that if, role. Especially if those other options are like Poisoner and Scarlet Woman. Yeah, right. You already, have the, you already have the Spy stuff. Like, if you need to seem good as the Spy is turned into the Poisoner... You know who to poison to make poison yourself seem fortune good. teller or the empath or whoever, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if, you some... need, and if you're the Baron, you just don't want to be the Baron anymore. You've done that job. Scarlet Woman's a much more powerful choice at that point. Yeah, I mean, the, the Baron really wants to be had or change, right? Like, the Baron wants to be changed into something else. So, so it's tricky. Yeah, yeah. And so, and I think this script is, the, the minions on this script are, I would say, mid-loud, except for the Poisoner, which mm -hmm. is loud on this script by the sort of the absence of the other minions. Um, yeah. But I do sort of see, in my mind, Hatter, similar to Plague Doctor, I like to see sort of louder minions that give both teams a more realistic chance to solve. Yeah, I think that sounds... And the, both teams more strategic choices. Yeah, I think that sounds right. I think it makes the Hatter much more interesting when the choice of what to take in any given moment isn't obvious, right? There's yeah. not an obvious best thing or an obvious, well, I should just get out of this right now. I should get into something else because... My, my ability's used, right? Um, maybe have one of those. Right? Here, here there's an assassin, right? So maybe have one of those, you know, but don't fill the script with passive things or things that can spend. Yeah, like maybe you're the spent assassin. You have to decide whether you want to, like, take a powerful late game ability, like, say, the organ grinder, which when that comes into the game at the late stage, that can be very chaotic and powerful for the evil team. But by becoming the organ grinder, you're making it very obvious that the Hatter died. Not that there's an organ grinder on this particular script we're looking at, but no. those are the sort of choices I think that make Hatter the most interesting to and me. And then there are so, also some minions that are stronger earlier in the game. You know, the Poisoner traditionally is a little bit stronger earlier in the game before, uh, for example, powerful townsfolk, you know, tend to get mm -hmm. killed off uh, or turned into suspects or get framed. So, you know, there's there's some there's some interesting things you can do. And with that in mind, Emma, I I didn't want to i didn't want to jip you out of having an interesting role uh even though you weren't going to be playing the hatter so i have uh, i have dealt you a token that we haven't talked about before the alchemist interesting so the alchemist is a character that can actually track whether the hatter has changed because their ability may change the alchemist is sort of interesting in that its ability is a constant. You have a not in play minion ability. So if the in play minions change, the alchemist can be forced to change. So the alchemist, even though they will never get to choose a minion to be when the hatter dies, they might end up getting being able to confirm that a hatter died by virtue of their ability changing. Yeah, and I think that's I think that's a really interesting kind of interaction. Um that you know, maybe it's a little bit, uh, maybe it's a little bit fun, you know, to play around with. So, uh, so I thought we, I thought we'd give you the alchemist token, and uh, why don't we, why don't we go out to the grim? Yeah, that seems fine to me. All right, Emma. Uh, so you're the alchemist, and uh, on uh, night one, uh, 
you are woken by the storyteller, and you are shown the Devil's Advocate token. Interesting. DA is sort of a classic alchemist choice for storytellers. Um, it's a bit of a weird one, though, right? Mm-hmm. Um, like a lot of minion abilities, the DA is sort of inherently evil-sided. Um you can confirm that you have the DA ability and you've protected someone, I suppose, which is useful. But if Town's actually execute, but it's probably not worth Town's time to execute the person you're protecting if they're actually good. And if they're actually suspicious and evil, you don't actually want to protect them. You want them dead. <laughs> so, like, spending a whole day just to confirm that you have the DA's ability is weird. And then, if of course, if you make it to final three and you don't time things right... Like, just like with a with an evil DA, if you end up picking the demon, you can cause the good team to lose the game. Indeed. And on this script with the Hatter, the Assassin, and the Poe, you might not be able to successfully notice when it's about to be final three. So the DA is something that's very tricky for you to manage as an alchemist. Yeah, it's very interesting. Um... So uh, you uh, you're shown the uh, DA token, and then uh, the following morning uh, you wake up, and the storyteller Emma, shockingly, has died. Mm-hmm. Oh, and I protect myself. Oh yes, we forgot to get your pick, uh, and of course you protect yourself up first. Yeah. So as the as the non DA, I'm very as it actually I'd be very unlikely to pick myself for another evil player early. Um, it's frequently not worth it. You want to sort of use the DA to create suspicion or misinformation rather than using it to secure your demon's life. Cause you know, if people are suspicious of your demon and their DA protected, they're just going to execute them the next day when you can't do anything about it. So all you've done is delay the inevitable for a day. But here there's what I will it, like, I'm good. And if in the event that, you know, town foolishly decides they want to execute me, when I'm clearly good and haven't done anything wrong and I'm not intentionally being suspicious because that wouldn't doesn't sound like me. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know I've protected a good player, which is good. Okay. Uh, yeah, sounds good to me. Uh, so why don't we uh, why don't we go ahead and give you a chat? In fact, why don't we have the player uh, in seat three just go ahead and ping you right away for a chat, Emma? Sure, we can talk to the player in seat three. All right. Uh, so the player in seat three says, "Hey Emma, how's it going? Uh, I just I just want to get this out there, you know, right away. I think it's really really useful. I have got a chef. What? Well, I say that's perfect. Uh, I'm the devil's advocate. Uh, so you should probably kill my neighbor seat five which is nice for me because as the DA, I like to lazily bluff tea lady and tea lady's not on the script, but now I've got to give an, given an excuse to kill my neighbor anyway as part of my lazy tea lady bluff. All right. That sounds like a thing that we can do. So you're just hard claiming devil's advocate. Yeah. The, the, the devil's advocate. It's a minion ability. I'm uh-huh. the minion section of the grim. And yeah, I, your I, I, put it, I put it on my, I put it on my grim. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Emma. I guess. <laughs> Bye. All right, Emma. What, what are we doing here? What are we? What are we? Where, why are we? Why are we doing? Well, we're this? just having fun. Sometimes yeah. you just gotta have fun. Like e- <laughs> Chef One is an interesting thing. Um, Chef Zero sort of makes it more likely your neighbors are evil. Chef One makes it a little bit more likely your neighbors are good. Do you want to um, explain that? Since we, I don't think we ever talked about it before. Yeah, so basically, I don't actually know the math. I just trust that this is the math. So I haven't actually gone and verified and calculated this. But uh, let's say our chef one is over there in seat nine. I'm just marking them as random things in my grim. Uh, An eight. Because we know the chef one isn't me in seat three because I'm on the good team, so it can't be there. Um, So... Wherever the chef one is, there's only one more evil amongst the other twelve, uh, uh, other ten players, right? So that makes it pretty likely that any given player outside that chef one is good. And since I know I'm not in the chef one, it makes it fairly likely seat five is good, but more likely than it normally is, uh, because we know that only one of their neighbors can be that chef one pair. Now, all right. 
if it's a chef zero, if the harpy's in seat eight and the poisoner's over there in seat one, uh, at this point, there's a bunch of people who can't be evil. Twelve, two, seven, nine. Me and seat three, who are trusting the situation is the good chef, because those are all numbers that are blocked out. That means in the other four players, seats five, six, ten, and eleven, exactly one of them is evil. Which is just more likely. Like we've switched from a trust if we trust me and the chef and we the chef number sober, we've switched from a one in one in one, two, three, four, five, eight chance that the thirty fills next to us versus a chef zero where world where it's a one in four chance the thirty was directly next to us. All right. That sounds that sounds believable, I think. Yeah, uh, I, and I'm sure the math is more complicated than that. That's a very superficial version of the math. But the point is, like, once you've learned, sort of locked down evil and good locations, the chef number makes it, a uh, chef one makes it more likely your neighbors are good. If you're uncertain, and a chef zero makes it more likely they're evil. All right. Uh, well, Emma, uh, who would you like to talk to next? No, I don't care. Okay, great. Uh, well, let's talk to Seat. Eleven. Perfect. Hi, Emma. How are you? Hello. What sort of claims would you like to do? Oh, uh, would you like to know who I DA protected? Oh, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, uh, I protected you because you're my demon. Uh, nope. Not the demon. Just the oh, that... <laughs> Uh, you're the player I'm framing as my demon. It's uh, fine. Well, that that makes sense. The innkeeper is a very powerful bluff. Hmm. Well, there's no pukka here to like lock you in. Is obviously the pukka, mm. um, so we don't have to necessarily kill you immediately since you're not the pukka. We know that. Fair point. But uh, we are framing you, so you are DA protected. So, so I'm DA protected today. Okay, great. Well, that sounds good. Hmm? Uh, all right. Well, uh, I guess good luck then. Yeah, you too. All right. Uh, let's give you another chat. Uh, let's talk to the player in seat eight. That sounds delightful. All right. You go and talk to the player in seat eight. It says, hi, Emma. Uh, how are you? How's your how's your info? You got any info? Uh, I have an info. Yeah, sure. The info I have is that seat nine is safe from execution today. Oh, okay. Uh, so I've got great news for you. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, I drank with you last night. I'm the sailor. Interesting. That's a that's a fun one. Yeah, I hope that's okay. I hope I didn't you know mess up any starting information. Actually, it's sort of funny if you did. Let's uh let's execute you. Execute me? Sure. We can do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine to be executed. Okay. Uh we can we could do some science. Yeah, science is great. All right. Thanks, Emma. And we'll wrap up the day with that, I think. That's 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 three chats. That's plenty of chats for one day. Mm-hmm. All right, Emma, would you like to make any nominations? Oh yeah, I'm executed nominating C date. No, oh, Emma nominates C date. Emma, why are we nominating C date? Uh, C date is my demon. This is not a double bluff. I have DA protected them. They're bluffing sailor, so we should kill them. So you believe that they're the sailor? All right. Uh, C date says, "Well, I am the sailor, uh, and I think it would be great to test me today. It'd be a great, great person to test. So let's do it. Uh, so we're just gonna say that uh, gets a whole bunch of hands because people want to test the sailor. I guess. Do you vote on this, Emma? Oh, yeah, absolutely. All righty, then. Well, uh, it gets a whole bunch of votes, and it's more than enough, and it's definitely not going to be lifted. Seat 8 is executed and does not die, and everybody goes to sleep. All right, Emma. Uh, Well, you're not going to wake up at night. Oh, no, you are going to wake up at night to use your ability, for sure. Well, what are we thinking? So there's a few things here. Uh, I don't actually know what ability I have until the storyteller comes and asks me whether I to use my ability and like what they prompt me with. All right. And what uh, what 
what happens when the storyteller comes and says, please select a player. Oh, great. So the storyteller has now come to me and said, please select a player, which means I may actually have the DA ability or I may actually have the poisoner ability. I don't know. Well, what do you want to do about it? Uh, well, I'm going to poison C8. Alrighty, you poison C8 or D8 protects C8. You're not sure. We'll go ahead and put One the D8. One of those two. We'll go ahead and put the D8. We'll go ahead and put the D8 token there, and uh, we'll we'll see we'll see what comes with that. Uh, and uh, all right, in the uh, in the uh, uh, in the rest of the night goes by uh, without incident uh, for you. Uh, and the following morning, uh, you wake up and the player in seat five has died. And the player who's seat five immediately says, all right, everybody, uh, I think it started as an Oho game because I am the Hatter. And, um, unfortunately, uh, I'm dead now. So the evils have probably changed, probably changed up their roles. See, five is claiming to be the Hatter. And the evils have changed up their roles. Now, that's interesting because I was not told to change my alchemist token. Hmm. What do you think that means? It means either they picked roles that I don't have, so my ability was unaffected, or yeah, it just really means that. Like this okay. player is almost certainly not lying because they're dead and like we were talking about there's really no reason for an evil player to die in the night in this script seems fair enough uh all right well um the player in seat one says hey emma can i talk to you real quick yeah sure all right uh you go into conversation with the player in seat one they say so emma um i think that you're evil you i heard you're just claiming devil's advocate and i think we should kill you today no, no, we should kill me tomorrow. I'm DA protected today. No, I heard that. I I heard that you're the DA, and I think you're evil. So we need to get you out of here. No, no, we should do that tomorrow when I'm D, not DA protected. Right, but maybe you were DA protecting C eight yesterday, uh, and so oh yeah, you would be protected today. But I don't care. We should still kill you because you're probably evil. No, no, we should kill C eight, my demon. I say today. All right. Well, good luck. Good luck with your evil, Emma. Um, what um, are you, seed one? Me? Uh, I don't think you need to know because you're evil. And why would I tell an evil player my role? Oh, that's not fair. You're telling me my role, so you should also tell me your role. Well, somebody that's else. A fair trade. Somebody else told me you claim devil's advocate. Bye, Emma. And they leave. That was a useless conversation. Why did you make me have it? Don't know. <laughs> Just having fun, like you said. Uh, who do you want to talk to? Let's talk to seat 10. All right, you go over and talk to seat 10. Hey, Emma, what's up? Not much. How are you? I am good. Uh, I am the preacher, and I have been preaching people, and I don't think I've had any effect yet. Uh, I have a question, though, for you, Mm -hmm. Emma. If I preach someone, and the Hatter allows them to change their ability, do they get unpreached? Oh. I already I already answered your question. I interrupted you to say no because it was an inane question, Milk. Yes, but but uh, some some people might have this question about the Hatter, and so I have inserted it here usefully for our purposes. Yeah, but I've already answered it. it it's just a hard now. If you, they remain a minion, they remain preached. Doesn't oh, matter. Okay. okay, good 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 to know, Emma. Thanks. Uh, you should preach me tonight. I should preach you tonight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, great. Uh, I'll do that. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will. All right. That's that conversation. Would you like to have one more? You can have one more or two sure, more. Sure, we can talk to seat seven. Talk to seat seven. Hey, Emma, what's up? How's it going? Uh, I guess I'm okay. Uh, I used my ability on the first night. Uh, oh, I'm I'm the seamstress. I'm I'm being open about it. I'm just telling everybody. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think it I don't think it really matters because I'm a used seamstress. I used my ability on the first night, and I checked uh, seat twelve and seat three, and I got a yes. Beautiful. So yeah, I got a I got a seamstress yes. I'll add it to the screen here for the 
viewers at home. I got a seamstress yet on seat three and on seat 12. Uh, so I'm not sure, you know, exactly uh, if that means they're good or evil, but yeah. Uh, what yeah, are you? No, no. Oh, uh, I'm the uh, something. The alchemist. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to say here. You're the alchemist. Cool. What ability do you have? Well, probably the poisoner ability. Oh, okay. Uh, who did you pick? Uh, myself, and then seat eight. Oh, okay. Well, great. Um, I guess we can figure out if seat eight is the leech, then, if they're poisoned today. Perfect, yeah. All right, sounds good. Bye. All right, Emma. <laughs> well, that's some conversation. You want to have one more, or you feel good? You ready to nominate? No, I feel one? great. Ah, oh, great. I'm going to nominate seat eight. You nominate Emma. Nominate seat eight. Emma, why seat eight? Uh, once again, this isn't a double bluff. Seat eight is my demon. They're not DA protected today. Let's kill them. All right. And seat eight says, "Uh, I mean, we tested me yesterday. I don't think there's any reason to test me again." Uh, why don't we just leave me alive? But of course, everyone's going to vote on this because you're so certain, Emma. Because you're so certain about your ability. Uh, and seat eight uh, gets a whole bunch of votes and is executed and dies. And everybody goes to sleep. Beautiful. So what does this mean, Emma? Not much. Oh, great. <laughs> Well, Storyteller comes to visit you and says, Hello, Emma, please select a player. Oh, let's pick myself. All right, you select yourself. Thank you. Uh, and the Storyteller goes away, and hopefully I've done this in the right order, because I didn't actually check the night order before I did this. Uh, the Storyteller returns and says, Oh, yeah, I did it in the right order. Good. Uh, and says, Hello, Emma, the Harpy has selected you to be mad that the player in seat 10 is evil. Sweet. Okay, bye. Another relatively new token, the Harpy, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, causes uh, one player to be mad that the second player is evil or both might die. All right, Emma, you uh, wake up the following day. And who do you want to talk to? Oh, right. Oh, we're talking Bef to before I forget, 12. the player in seat 11 has died. And the player in seat 11 immediately goes to talk to the player in seat Okay, I'll go talk to the player in seat 12. Hey, Emma, what's up? Hey, how's it going? Uh, I don't know. My info's really weird. Uh, uh, what I is it? I've, Maybe I can help you. I think I've been poisoned at some point in this game. Mm-hmm. I'm the empath. Um, I had a one on night one, and now I've had a two for two nights running. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and I'm mm -hmm. kind of confused about what's going on. Uh, most likely a Vortox left play, or entered play. Okay. Um, you sure it's not a poisoner? That could be a poisoner. Yeah, it could be a poisoner. Uh, but it feels more like a Vortox to me. Oh, alright. Interesting. Um, any, any particular reason for that? Well, year two is just not plausible, right? Like, you had a two on seat one and seat eleven... Then seat 11 dies in the night, and you get a 2 on seat 1 and seat 10. Yeah, that's like, fair. Like, that's not real information. I mean, I guess 11 so, and 10 could have been evil to, could be evil together. They're talking right now. Why is 11 dead? Uh, yeah, I guess there's nothing on the script that really... No evils on the script want to die at night, do they? No. All right, well, that makes sense to me. Maybe it's a Vortox. Mm -hmm. All right, sounds good. Thanks. All right, Emma, how about another conversation? Uh, forgot to mark I'll the pattern. To nine. I forgot to mark the pattern. Hi, Emma. Uh, what can How's I do for you? I'm good. Um, my info's a little bit weird, but I'm I'm good. Okay. Um, tell me, tell me about it. Tell me about this weird info. So, I mean, I guess it's night three, so. Probably doesn't matter. Uh, I've gotten a ton of fortune teller yeses all over the place. And I'm not really sure, you know, I mean, that seems really vortoxy, but I feel like the demon would have changed in a hatter change. 
So it feels like it feels like Vortox information. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, do you have any uh, so any thoughts about who, whether who, it's Vortox? Who did you get your first yes on? What night? So I got a yes on night one on the players in seat two and seat ten. Mm -hmm. And then I got a yes on the player in seat twelve and the player in seat eight. Mm -hmm. And then I got a yes on the player in seat seven and you. Okay. So I think it started off as not Vortox, then became Vortox when the Hatter died. So I think your yes on seat 10 is specifically accurate, and we should kill that demon. So you you think the yes on day one on seat 10 means that the player in seat 10 is the demon from the first night? Yeah. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. I can get behind that. Uh, and then I just got yeses after that to confuse me because of the Vortox. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, yeah that makes... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe C10 that. C10 is very evil. Yeah, I think C10's probably... Yeah, okay, I can I can buy that. I mean, they didn't read evil to me, but yeah, I guess that's that makes sense. Yeah, well, they are evil. We know they're evil. All right, Emma, uh, it sounds like it's time for nominations. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you come back to town, the player in seat one says, uh, Hey, everybody, I just want you all to know that uh, I have been harpy mad the last two days. I'm not harpy mad today. Uh, I was harpy mad the first day, uh, and I tried to kind of tell everyone uh, that I thought seat six was evil. I was harpy mad yesterday that uh, that Emma was evil. Uh, and uh, yep, now, I, uh, now I'm not harpy mad anymore, so it's probably on somebody else, or maybe we killed the harpy? Seems unlikely, but anyway, that's that's what I've got. Uh, the player in seat 11 says, uh, hey everybody, I'm the Raven Keeper, and, uh, I saw the player in, uh, I, I saw the player in seat 7 as the Harpy. Mm, okay. Um, so but I think it's a Vortex should... game, so we should kill seat 10, right? Uh, I don't really want to kill seat 10, uh, Seat 11 says, I don't really want to kill Seat 10. Uh, I think Seat 10 is really good. Huh? Yeah, but they're the demon. After the Hatter died, it became a Vortex game. Now they're the demon. Are you forgetting that part, Seat 11? Uh, well, I didn't really know it was a Vortex game. If it's a Vortex game, then probably the player in Seat 7 is good. Um, but I know for sure that the player in Seat 10 is not the demon. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. Uh, do you want to nominate out? No, good. I've made my argument. I think I'm safe from Harpy Madness. Okay. Uh, the player in seat 10 nominates the player in seat 1. Uh, player in seat 10 says, uh, I'm not sure about Vortox, but I, I have heard that uh, there's something weird going on with the player in seat 1. The Harpy Madness claim, I'm not sure if I believe. Um, I think we should maybe kill the player in seat one. Player in seat one says, uh, I was definitely harpy mad. Uh, you can kill me if you want. I'm not, uh, I'm not a, you know, useful role. I mean, I'm, I'm a used role. Uh, so, yep, uh, this is fine if you want to do it. Uh, seat two votes. Uh, seat three does not vote. Uh, do you want to vote on this, Emma? Uh, no, one. I'm harpy mad that seat 10 will not vote on their nomination. All right, sounds good. Uh, player in seat 5 doesn't vote. Uh, seat uh, 6 votes. Seat 7 doesn't vote. Seat 9 doesn't vote. Seat 10 does vote. Uh, seat 12 uh, does not vote, so it's not enough. Uh, seat 1 is safe for today. Are there any other nominations? You don't want to make a nomination. Uh, let's have uh, seat 6 is going to nominate the player in seat 2. Player in seat six says, uh, player in seat two gave me some kind of bad vibes in terms of, uh, their ability to, like, in terms of, like, what they were claiming. They were claiming to be the courtier. I don't think they're actually the courtier. Um, I think they're probably evil. Um, uh, player in seat two says, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not evil. I'm just, uh, just the courtier. I use my ability uh, I used my ability to drunk the Poe. I guess it wasn't a Poe game, or if it was a Poe game, um, it got changed or whatever. Not really sure. Um, 
Emma, do you want to vote on this? Uh, the player in seat three uh, does vote on this. Who's nominated? Two. Seat two. Yeah, I'll vote on that. All right. You vo- uh, seat three votes. You vote. Player in seat six votes. Uh, the player in seat seven votes. Uh, the player in seat nine votes. The player in seat ten votes. The player in seat twelve votes. And the player in seat one votes. So everyone votes uh, except for seat two. Does not vote on themselves. Uh, that's obviously more than can be hand- handled. So seat two is executed and does not die. And everybody goes to sleep. Interesting. All right, Emma, the storyteller wakes you up and says, who would you like to protect, Emma? Oh, we're poisoning seat two. All right, you protect seat two. Got it. Oh, sorry, the storyteller says, please select a player, I guess. It's technically mm-hmm. what it says. But... Uh, all right, you select player in seat two. Uh, and then nothing else happens to you in the night, and you wake up the following morning. Uh, all right. Uh, what? Uh, what do you want to do? Who do you want to talk to? Oh, sorry. Right. A player He's has dead. died. A player has died in the night, and that player is the player in seat one. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, who would you like to target? Oh, let's talk to seat six. All right. You go and talk to seat six. Hey, Emma, what's going on? Not much. How are you? Uh, I am okay. Uh, I was really suspicious of the player in seat two. Uh, their information didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. Um, yeah. So I just thought maybe we should try to kill them. And look, it turns out that they were probably DA protected, right? Well, see, the thing is, I have the devil's advocate token, and I picked myself last night. Oh, that's weird. So, yeah. it's a leech game? That's my current working theory. That's pretty strange. Um, I heard a lot of people were talking about Vortex yesterday. Yeah, I was talking about Vortex yesterday because I was harping mad at the player in C10. And it oh. suited me. Uh, I don't know if it's Vortex or not. But C2 surviving execution is odd because they're not the sailor. They could be the leech, or they could have been DA protected. Either way, I think it makes sense to tap them again today and see what happens. Yeah, I agree. I think we should kill the player in C2. That makes a lot of sense. All right. Thanks, Emma. All right. And uh, the player in C10 pings you, Emma. Okay. Uh, hey, Emma. Um, so just so you know, I'm the night watchman, not the creature. Uh, I think you were probably harpy mad yesterday about me. It seemed like you were yeah. picking on me with no reason. Uh, I'm I'm confirmed, so I think you're probably good since you were harpy mad. Uh, I, I was uh, mad at you. I sent my ping to the player in seat 11, who uh, is the Raven Keeper. Okay, what night did you do that? Uh, on the first night. Okay. Uh, I'm the Alchemist DA. Yeah, I didn't protect seat 2 yesterday. They can't. So... If I'm actually the poisoner, which would fit my waking patterns, either because I was sailor drunk the first night, according to the sailor, or because it became a Vortox game at some point, uh, C2 was DA protected yesterday, I poisoned them last night to see if they were the demon, but if I'm the poisoner, or they're just a leech, I think we kill them today again today and see if they're a leech or we're just DA protected. I think it's very solving. All right, it sounds good to me. All right, well, with that, we're going to go to nominations. And, uh, Emma, I assume you're going to nominate the player in seat two? Uh, in seat two. Yeah, all the reasons I've said. Yep, and everybody uh, agrees, and everybody votes on seat two again, and seat two is executed and dies, and the game does not end, and the storyteller takes it to the night phase, but we're about a half an hour in, so, Emma, what do you think is going on? Give us what you know or you think you know about the Grim. I'm not sure this one's fully solvable at this point. Well, I know I have the poisoner ability. Not oh, okay, the so let's ability. start. Let's start with that. So you have the poisoner ability. So you're the good alchemist poisoner. All right. Mm-hmm. What else do you think you know? Uh, t- is it a Vortox I, game currently? Is a question I have for you. Uh, it was not a Vortox game to start because the Night Watchman ping gave the correct name. Correct. Therefore, I was just Sailor Trunk Night One. Um. The fact that the DA ability is actually in play suggests I've always had the Poisoner ability, uh, which... 
or to the extent the DA ability hasn't always been in play, and I actually had the DA ability night one, suggests that the story it became a Vortex game, which explains why the storyteller had me continue to think I had the DA's ability after the Hatter died. Uh, I don't remember who Seat 9's fortune teller, yes, was on on night one besides Seat 10. Uh, it was Seat 10 and Seat 7. Uh, that makes seed seven either the red herring or the demon, because that's a night where it probably wasn't a Vortox game. All right. Based off the night watchman information, uh, seed twelve got a zero that night or one that night as the claimed empath, which I don't think works with seed one and eleven both dying at night, so seed twelve is likely evil. So evil team in seven twelve. I haven't actually talked to Seed 6 yet. That's a pretty plausible evil team. All right, I think that's a pretty plausible evil team. It's not the correct evil team, but it's not a bad It's not a bad uh, guess. Uh, it probably helps a lot to find out that the player in Seat 1 is the Recluse. Finding out that the player in Seat 1 is the Recluse probably clears up... Clears up that information. It makes the empath look good. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, seat 6 and Seat 7 do seem both evil then by the chef number. Uh, so seat two is the uh, is definitely an evil, right? Uh, and is in fact the harpy uh, who got pushed on by the player in seat six because they had, of course, been DA protected because the player in seat six is the DA. Unfortunately, the chef uh, is registering off of the recluse and the harpy. The player in seat seven is in fact just the seamstress. Your demon is bluffing fortune teller in seat nine, started out as the Oho and became the Vortox. Everything else uh, you've basically got right. Yeah, uh, so I seven do think you would have. I do think you would have gotten there demon eventually. were just realistic choices, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were both realistic choices. I, I was going to poison one of them and then kill the other, probably. Yep, that seems right. And then you end up in a world where you've probably got the chef, the empath, and the fortune teller left toward the end. Mm-hmm. Something like that. Anyway, that's uh, so. That's your that's your first game. That's a little that's a little taste of what uh, of what the Hatter can do. It can create some real disruption. Mm -hmm. uh, it started out as an Oho game, of course, and the Oho instantly murked the Hatter with the idea Which is of an interesting and probably wrong choice. It's probably a wrong choice, but I thought it was interesting just mainly because you had the Alchemist token. So. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, let's fun, let's fun. go to the next one. Yeah. All right, back to scenario two. Scenario two, we're going to look at how Eva might work with the Hatter. <laughs> and Milk, we're only going to look at one night of this game. So I'm just going to tell you what's happened up to this point. You were given the bluffs uh, Empath, Savant, and Courtier. You received a Night Watchman ping from seat five. And you were told that seat nine and seat two were your minions. Nine, just random minion here, random minion here. All right. You learned that your minions were the harpy in seat two and the assassin in seat nine, and that the assassin had been preached. Okay. Uh, the player in seat four pushed on the player in seat one, but the execution didn't go through. Instead, the player in seat six was executed for being generically suspicious. All right. Fair uh, enough. That night, you attacked the player in seat five because they were confirmed to you, but they did not die at night. Interesting. Uh, when you woke up, you learned that seat six was claiming Plague Doctor. Okay. Uh, that day, seat four frustrated, outed as the bounty hunter, and said, seat one is my ping, that you executed seat one and they did not die. That night, you killed the player in seat 11. Okay, so I've killed the player in seat 11. Mm -hmm. uh, the day after, seat 12 was executed. All right, and why did we execute seat 12? Uh, there was a fortune teller yes on them and the player in seat 10. All right. That night, 
And my understanding, and this may change, and I also this may change in my understanding, is that the current official word from Stephen is that Hatter is run at the Night Order spot. So, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to run Hatter at the Night Order spot. Okay. So first, I'm going to ask you, Milk, who do you want to kill tonight? Um. I'm. Um, <laughs> Interesting. Uh, tricky, tricky, tricky. Because the player in seat four might not be the bounty hunter. The player in seat four might just be Harpy Mad about the player in seat one. I've marked them as the bounty hunter here, but I'm not convinced. Oh, that uh, they, they were not Harpy Mad. You know that for a fact. Oh, I know that they weren't Harpy Mad. Oh, then they're the bounty hunter who's got a ping on uh, seat one. But we're certainly not killing the player with a bounty hunter ping on them. Uh, assumedly, that was caused by sailor drunkenness uh, or something. Uh, I don't know if the assassin has gotten their ability back at this point, uh, but I've got a fair swing on hitting the preacher in 7, 8, or 10. Uh, that said, this might be a night to charge. And the reason it might be a night to charge is that if my minions are clever, uh, the they'll have looked at the kill pattern. The assassin will change into not the assassin, maybe into the devil's advocate. The harpy will take the assassin's ability and the harpy will kill. So I think this is a good night to charge. All right. So you charge. Fascinating. Uh, after you charge, you're woken up along with seats two and seat nine and shown the Hatter token. Okay. And this is really what we want to talk about in this scenario. Everything yep. else has just been for show. So, Milk, with the grim knowledge you have at this time that I've told you about, with... The things you know, that seat nine is preached, that seat two is the harpy who has presumably made someone mad tonight, but you don't know who. That madness is going to go out of effect if they change, and you've chosen to charge. You've not used your kill. Yep. What do you want to do here? You have a hatter choice to make. Yeah, so um, I can wait until my minions go, or I can go first. And I'm inclined mm. to go first. And I made the charge expecting that the Hatter choice would come, um, partially because you kind of in, implied that uh, here. But you know, yeah, yeah, that was a that was a mistake on my part. I wasn't supposed to imply that the Hatter choice happens was at going the beginning to come. of the night order. Or maybe we had an idea that this player in C12 was the Hatter. Like, there's, you know, we don't. We're kind of playing through this a little. Yeah, fast we're loose. we're specifically not running at the beginning of the night order. You're yeah. running it after all the killing abilities. Have maybe gone. we knew. Maybe we knew that the Hatter. Maybe we knew that the Hatter was. But maybe we knew that they were that. Who knows? And I'll say just for fun that we're using the optional rule that you can choose, cl you can change class. So well, to speak. I made my I made my kill choice intending to hold on to the Poe, and the reason for yeah. that is we're very close to being able to kill a lot of players with the Poe charge and an assassin kill. To, if the assassin kills someone tonight and then I get three kills tomorrow, that's really, really, really strong. Oh, and if the one assassin of my minions... The, the assassin has already gone, so you won't get an assassin kill tonight. Ah, uh, that's right. We should look at the knight order, probably. So we won't get an assassin tonight. So actually, I should have probably killed uh, instead of charging. But that's fine. There's innkeeper on the script. There's savant. Who knows what's going and on? You, there's in fact, a... know there's an innkeeper in play, right? Because you yeah. tried to kill the night watchman and failed. That's right. Uh, so yeah, yeah. So that's exactly right. Um, so yeah, so there's something. I have a sailor on what, the grid what is, too. So what? Yeah. So seat one you have is the sailor, I assume. Uh, no, I have seat. Oh, you told me seat one was the night watchman. Maybe I maybe I no seat five well. was that seat five was the night watchman. Oh, I got seat you. five and seat one mixed up. That's fine. Uh, seat one still, is the bounty hunter ping who was executed and did not die. Right, so your assumptions six. are so that's the sailor. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, your assumption so, is sailor, night watchman. You know there must be an innkeeper somewhere. You know there must be a preacher somewhere. Yeah, C4 and I know that the sailor. I know hunter. that the sailor probably drank with the bounty hunter, uh, or there's no bounty hunter. You know who knows? Um, they could be something else that's got a ping on seat one. Don't know. Don't care. Uh, so somewhere between and you, seven, there eight, was a, apparently a fortune teller ping that killed seat twelve off. Right. So be, somewhere between seven, eight, and ten are probably fortune teller, preacher, and innkeeper. Well, 10's probably not the fortune teller, right? Because there's a fortune teller, yes, on 12 and 10. Correct. So that's not the fortune teller. But what I'm saying is 
Seat 7, 8, and 10 contain those three roles. 10 is probably not the fortune teller, which means it's either the preacher or the innkeeper. Uh, so probably what I'll end up doing is uh, is I'll use my po charge to kill seat 10, 8, 7, and see if I get it in the right order. Uh, if I mm-hmm. miss, then I miss. You know, it's all right. But okay, it's, so you're going to stick as the Poe. I'm going to stay as the Poe. Yeah, so sometimes you're not going to want to change your role when you get the Hatter ability. Um, but I think my minions can benefit from a swap. So I imagine that the minions will change. Why don't you get yourself out of C3? Because we'll sort of talk through C3's issues here. Sure. Allow me to And get yourself into C2. C2. All right, Milk. So you're the harpy in C2. I'll tell you a little bit of what's happened in this game from your perspective. Mm-hmm. Uh, day one, of course, you made seat one mad that seat seven was evil. Oh, okay. Interesting. Didn't really have much of an effect. Sure. You're a little annoyed the storyteller didn't kill you then because you couldn't tell there was any madness in play. Mm-hmm. As far as you could tell, in fact, no one was mad. Uh, the next night, you targeted seat oh, one and seat seven again. Again and again, it didn't really seem like seat one or seat seven was mad, and yet neither of them were killed. In fact, seat one was executed and survived execution. You're really not sure what's going on. And the next day, you learn that seat one has been drinking with you every night, and for some reason, this appears to be turning off your ability. Uh, Interesting. <laughs> You asked seed one to stop drinking with you because you were the savant and you wanted to get good information. That makes sense. That sounds like the kind of thing I would do. So why would the player in seat seven... I was making the player in seat one mad about the player in seat seven. And the player in seat one's been drinking with me, so why are they selling... Oh, because the player in seat one is in a bounty hunter ping. So if they kill the bounty hunter... So this is information that the demon knows that the harpy doesn't know, although probably could have been communicated through a whisper. Right, the bounty hunter in C four has a ping on C one. Oh no, I know that too because the bounty hunter outed publicly. Yeah. So the player in C four has a ping on C one, so the storyteller can't kill off C one and C seven because that would give another bounty hunter ping, which now would be good because the sailor's not drinking with the bounty hunter. Mm-hmm. But why might the sailor drinking apparent that the sailor doesn't seem to be realizing that they're supposed to be mad that C seven's evil? They're not even trying. Right. So that means that I'm actually getting drunk by the sailor. It's weird. Yeah, why might that be happening? They're in a bounty hunter ping. Well, assumedly the storyteller wants to sell this as a leech game. Perhaps so no. I look like the, the sailor lo- is just evil and instead like an as as would you might make sense for an evil sailor. They're oh, reversing the normal play bounty, patterns. Oh, no, it's the evil bounty hunter. Uh, I didn't even, literally wasn't even thinking about an evil. You were just an, refusing to consider the fact that the sailor might be evil in the to bounty hunter. To be totally honest, Emma, I forgot that bounty hunters make an evil player, so that's on me. <laughs> just, anyway, uh, you've, having a, talked with the sailor and got them to agree to stop drinking with you every night. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, now we know where that evil player is. Oh, wow, that's great. Who you made? You decided to make seat four mad that seat five was evil because you know seat five is the confirmed night watchman. Right. So you thought that was funny. Yeah. So now four is going to push on five. Yeah. But now you have a decision to make. Your demon in seat three has just chosen Poe, even though they were already the Poe. And they said that quickly before you could try to steal the demon from them. I'm going to ask you, Milk, what do you want to do here? Well, I mean, I know what I would do if I knew that the Poe had charged. But assumedly, if the player has said Poe again instantly, that means I know that they intend that they charge tonight and that they intend to get three kills. So do I know that the player in seat nine has been preached? Do I know the yes. rest of what's going on with players? Yeah, you, you've known the entire game that seat nine has been preached. Um, so because the player in seat nine hasn't picked yet, I can pick and I can pick their role, right? You can. You can take assassin. I'll take assassin. Okay. Can you tell me sort of why you went assassin versus poisoner or, or DA? Yes. Uh, so it's late in the game of... Uh, Poisoner is not going to be useful without knowing who to hit. Uh, we're probably going to frame the bounty hunter because we've let them live for this long. Also, they're probably never killing off the player in seat one anyway, so they're probably just going to kind of push on them as the leech for the rest of the game and be looking for a leech host. 
so that's fine. Um, DA, uh, so DA isn't important right now, but DA will be important later. If the Poe is charging, that means the Poe can try to kill the uh, preacher in the night, which means that the uh, the assassins, uh, the the other minion's ability will be unlocked. So that means that that minion is in a better position to take a later game ability that doesn't need to be used fairly soon. Okay. Fascinating. Let's get you out of this seat and get you down to seat nine. Sure, that sounds good. All right, Milk. Well, you're the player in seat nine. You drew the assassin token and you've had a sort of sad game. Night one, you were woken and told you were preached. And you don't know by who. Night two, you weren't woken at all because you were preached. Night three, that's this night. Yes. The storyteller woke you and said, do you want to use your ability? Oh, really? Well, seat six did claim Plague Doctor. So apparently the storyteller has taken a reprieve on you. How exciting. Apparently the, uh, apparently the, uh, yeah, that's great. Uh, I, uh, I know that the player in seat five is the Night Watchman. Uh, I'm stabbing the Night Watchman. Okay. Yeah. So you stab the Night Watchman. After you stab the Night Watchman, the storyteller tells you to stay awake, wakes up seats two and three, and shows you all the Hatter token. Seat three immediately points to Poe on their character sheet, and seat two points to Assassin on their character sheet. Um, so, Harpy going out of play makes a, a player who has died look more evil. Um, right? So when the when the Hatter comes out and claims to be the Hatter, the Harpy not being in play anymore uh, is going to make that player look like an evil player. So I don't well, want the Harpy's Har- already gone, right? So, but I don't, I don't want. What I'm saying is, I don't want to take Harpy, right? I don't want to keep the Harpy ability in play. The I want Harpy's to already like- gone in the Night Order, so the Harpy would have to be executed tomorrow for you. To right. Off, okay. Right? right. Good. Good point. But still, I, I don't want to. The point is, I'm not bringing the Harpy ability back in play because the Harpy ability going out of play will probably make someone who's good, and not the demon specifically, so irrelevant, look like they're evil, right? So it'll get the good team to misjudge their count, basically. Um, I could take Poisoner. I could poison that Bounty Hunter so that we could kill them. I could try just randomly poisoning into seat 7, 8, or 10, uh, which is also possible. But because I have just learned that the Storyteller probably has the Poisoner ability, uh, given that the Plague Doctor died and I just got my ability back, uh, I see no reason to take away the Poisoner ability from the Storyteller, who knows better than me. No, you wouldn't. The Storyteller... Ability is unaffected by. Oh, really? I thought it changed. Yeah. Okay, cool. Nope. Uh, I'm still going to take DA because I think having a variety of abilities in play are good. And I think taking DA and then DA protecting people to either make them look suspicious or protecting the Poe going into the end of the game is the strongest choice. So I'm going to change myself right. into the DA. So I think that was a sort of fun little thing we did. We sort of talked through a Hatter Knight for the evil team and like the mm-hmm. information various members of the evil team might have that the other ones might not that might affect their choices. That's really I all mean, we're going to do. We're not running the scenario. We're just running the Hatter Knight choices based on what you know at the time. Yeah, and I think it's I think it's valuable to figure that out. I'm really embarrassed not remembering that the bounty hunter makes an evil townsfolk, but that's fine. You know, that's stuff that you can forget when you're that's stuff you can forget when you're playing, too. Right. Like that just happens sometimes. Um, and I mean, to be fair, I saw it from the pose position first. So the Night Watchman dies tonight. Then someone gets killed today. And then the Poe kills three players, and evil probably wins. So, perhaps, perhaps uh, there's not. an assassin. There's an assassin in play, which means they're going. Evil's going to get another bite at the apple as well tomorrow night. Maybe an evil player dies. Maybe the demon gets executed. Uh, uh, the DA is probably the DA is probably not protecting tonight, right? Because it's out of night order, where the Hatter goes. Mm-hmm. So the DA won't get a tick. So the That's DA right. won't. The DA and the new assassin won't do anything until tomorrow night. Exactly. All right. So there's our sort of. What you have to think about when you're the Hatter from a three evil perspective? Yeah, I think I, I think that was really interesting. A nice little smaller smaller kind of construct for us to talk through. I like when we do these alternate. Uh, I like when we do these kind of alternate uh, scenario kind of setups. For the record, your pose triple kill strategy wasn't going to work because the innkeeper was going to be protecting the fortune teller in seat seven and the preacher in seat eight. So the order of killing ten, eight, seven would not have successfully gotten the triple kill off. But, but with the, the assassin, maybe there would have anyway. Though the assassin was 
possibly going to be executed tomorrow. Who knows? Yeah. And if the assassin gets killed tomorrow, that's fine. Right. Uh, and even if, the, even if, even if the, even if the innkeeper doesn't, even if the innkeeper doesn't die, uh, or even if all three of them don't die, uh, the Poe is still pretty much guaranteed to kill the innkeeper there, which is fine. Yeah, which is what needs to get out of play at that point. So, mm-hmm. anyway, uh, so yeah, I think that's us. That's us pretty much done, Emma. Yeah, that's us for the week. We'll see you next week with something. That's Who knows? right. I don't even know when this is coming out. It could be anything. Until then, may all your scenarios be grim. Good night.